Ever since Tullio Campagnolo founded the company more than 80 years ago, donating to the cycling world a countless series of inventions, the idea at the basis of every project and product has always been the same, to innovate. I believe that the greatest objective for an engineer is to be part of a company that brings innovation without compromise. When I say I work for Campagnolo, there's no need to say anything else. Everybody is expecting perfection from us. Around 20 years ago, Campagnolo felt the need to take a step forward. It was a moment of great vision, of a big dream, and of the biggest goal for the company, to engineer an electronic group set. We started by doing some tests. We made a small engine to move the chain over the gears. When we saw that the thing started to work, we thought we would need to develop some new controls and an electronic system. We started with Professor Magnifico, who by the way had been Fajin's professor, the one who later on invented the microchip. The first release consisted of a system that received impulses from controls, translating them into mechanical movements of the rear and front derailleurs. At that time, it was quite a challenge because the first problem we had to face was the technological level of the time. The electronic components were too big and not suitable for our project. An electronic system could not be applied to the bicycle. The ability to have a technological vision of the future is very important in our job. If you want to innovate, you need to go one step further, otherwise you'll produce a substandard product. We started by hiding the batteries and the electronics inside a water bottle. And then we inserted the batteries inside the tube under the seat. The cable was too long and the technology at the time didn't allow us to bring the power to the components. We found we were losing power and we needed an enormous battery to reach the right voltage in the front derailleur. The development of the project was aligned with the mechanical system. From 1994 to 2001, the mechanical group sets upgraded from 8 to 9 and then to 10 speed. The electronic transmission followed the same path. Then, while improving the mechanical group sets, we first introduced 9 speeds and then 10 speeds. We also started to use carbon fibre extensively. As a consequence of that, we had to update both electronic and mechanical parts. The improvement must be continuous, and our daily job must satisfy just one need, that of the customer. With 2005, release road tests were intensified, using professional riders at the Giro d'Italia, the Tour de France, and the truly insidious Northern Classic races. The 2005 version was 10 speed, and it worked very well. It was ready to be industrialized, but we were stopped by an unexpected event. At the end of a Giro d'Italia stage, the cars were coming back to Trento under heavy rain with the bikes on the roof. Nobody could have expected that an electronic system had to resist pouring rain at 150 kilometers per hour. The water got inside, and that night the team's bikes no longer worked. The next day we dried them and put it right, but we knew that the problem was the reliability of the system, even in extreme circumstances. Somebody else at that level would have released the product onto the market. But that's not something belonging to Campagnolo. We wanted to put onto the market a 100% reliable product. With the problems of water infiltration solved, the Campagnolo electronic drivetrains were close to being marketed, but 2009 was the year of the 11-speed revolution. It was clear that the electronic transmission had to be 11-speed. It did not make sense to offer a brand new electronic group set with less cogs than the mechanical one. Campagnolo engineers did extensive work of miniaturization of the system. The algorithms that managed front and rear derailleurs were optimized for 11 speeds. So, for a year and a half, the electronic group set had to face a lot of tests, laboratory tests and then road tests. The electronic drivetrain ran all the Pro Tour races with the Movie Star team. 
A pro team of 25 pro riders competed with our electronic drivetrain for the whole season. Right from the beginning, they asked us to improve the performance of the smaller cogs. Generally, these cogs are used for a final sprint or to run away from the peloton. Rear shift must be quick and precise. They obviously ask for perfection and we worked in order to optimize these details. Today, pro riders are completely satisfied with the improvements we made, and this is our biggest reward. Our greatest reward will be to reach the market with the best product possible, with no compromises. We never felt obliged to put it on the market. Only when a product reaches our expectations do we say yes. We have never hidden any of our challenges. Every time, we have tried to immediately face the problem and to fix it. The 7th of November 2011, the era of EPS begins today.